just playing this game on stream. It's called Cookie Simulator. Not that popular, but it was being promoted in a dev uh, developer weekly event. And I found out that you can just go to the last area, which you need 30 rebirths, and basically do the, the, the best area in quotations. The eggs aren't the best, but you still you can sell uh, their coins pretty quickly there, or get a lot of coins from selling basically what it's use. And so basically in this game, you gain speed when you eat, or you gain speed when you run around and at a certain point like even though i have four million speed right now it doesn't mean i have that much speed it just it, it i think it's it diminishes over time so like around like 100k speed you can probably get to this point and in, in how fast i get basically so basically you don't need any reverse to get to the moon there is invisible walls that block the area but from using the speed you can launch yourself off these hills or these small little edges here so for example if you want to get to the last area which the moon is over here you want to you can launch up this hill right here there are invisible walls so you gotta be a little bit careful of course we messed that up really badly but you can see what i'm trying to do basically so we messed up because it was invisible walls so we need more height so with that being said we can launch ourselves from further from here we get more height we're past the invisible walls of course the way they can fix it is the make bigger invisible walls but here this is this area you need one rebirth to get here which is not that hard to do so if you want to skip that part but you don't need a rebirth like i said so we can go now the moon's up here it's pretty high so we need decent speed not my speed but you know like we make 100k like i said and we hug this wall jump on it and this should be enough barely enough but it'll get us there sometimes you can, it, can, it can be much higher for sure and here we go here we go and here we are we're in the moon the best area in the game at the moment which needs seven, uh, 30 rebirths to get here and the only thing is good obviously you can't buy these eggs they're quite expensive but uh you can sell one crumb for 15 coins so it's a pretty good coin gain if you want a lot of coins right so it's pretty good for that the other place you might want to go if you want if you're able to get a lot of gems, because this is where the best egg is. Those, that, that, those eggs are okay. I bought a 700 million egg, which gave me this, the best one, technically the best one, which only gives me this. It's not that great, but and it's hard to farm because you don't get a lot of coins, to be honest. But with this one, this is the marble bunny, which is from the, the jelly bean area, which you need 10 rebirths, but you can also get that for free if you launch yourself from in this direction and we go to the jelly bean area here this is where the 10 rebirths is and these eggs right here are amazing they give uh the marble pets but with this one it costs 250k uh gems each basically but at a certain point when you keep playing the game you will unlock uh, this crumb eater quest and it gives you so many gems when you eat a lot of crumbs I guess so this egg is good just because you can keep it's cheap and then you can keep prestiging if you ever play this game I don't know it's, it's probably people probably knows this already but I don't know that's just how I've played it I played it for uh, like about an hour and a half and that's the, at this point at this amount which is not that bad I guess but I had a nice short video I don't know if this helps anybody but it's, uh, who plays this game anyways let's be real it's simulator that has progression that's not tested correctly. So there you go.